Hi, and welcome to another episode of Cracking the Box. Today we've got the Mini Art MB Type 170V, the person, person and wagon, person and wagon, maybe. Um, this is obviously like any German civilian type car, probably used in, in multiple roles during World War II. Um, 135th scale, this is about, uh, includes about 320 parts, uh, 46 photo etch parts are included, and it does also include the the German civilians uh, release that they released um, earlier this year, I believe. All right, let's open it up, shall we? Okay, so we've got one big, one big bag of plastic here. Open that. All right. We have the uh, main. Motor carriage portion, I guess you might call it. Which, um, let's see if I can I'm try my new uh, little back card here. Let's see if that helps. So we have the uh, different angles here. Front angle. Let's see if I'm helping. Oh, there we go. So a uh, nice, nice little solid little piece. Got the, the nice pillars here, all built in. And uh, moving on, looks like we've got some nice uh, wheels or tires, whatever you want to call them. As and I think this one definitely helps with this one. There we go. Aha! Much better. Again, remember that a lot of these videos can be switched to high definition mode if you're on like full screen or if you go directly to the YouTube site. So, and then it looks like these are the same parts but with an addition of a, an extra sprue here. Come on, focus. There you go. It's got some seat parts there, some little hat, uh, latches, and again, more of the tires. And a uh, duplicate piece, another sprue of that one. And then we have the uh, uh, sprue A, which includes the uh, lower chassis. Um, and other sundry parts and pieces, like steering wheel, the dash. Let's look at the dash there. Can we get focused on the dash? There we go. So, and then the front fenders and, and the lower lower part of the, the vehicle. Uh, take a look at the underside. Looks like the the uh, underside is pretty well molded too. There's some, some uh, push marks here in the lower fenders, but that's a good place to hide them, obviously. Same thing with the underside here. But otherwise, uh, looking all very clean and, and tidy. No signs of flash. Nothing, nothing that we're not uh, Normally expecting from most modern kits these days. Oh, nice grill work here. You can see uh, did the grill, the grill pieces here with the Mercedes emblem on this one and without on the other. I guess there's two options there. Um, the door panels and doors. Again, I'm showing some nice, nice detail. I'm trying to simulate obviously a leather, leather, some kind of leather pouch there on the side. And uh, more little, more lots of little parts, just what we like in our complex kits. And the, and the rest of it, uh, or the rest of the plastic screws are the, the German figures, which I, we have a separate review on the site, which I'll um, potentially link to uh, in this one. But if you want to get a better look at those, we've definitely done some, some uh, decent photography on that set, I believe. Um, what else is included? Well, we've got the manual, which is uh, like in color, at least on the front and back sheets. Um, I have to remember I'm doing it this way, so you want to see it this way, ha, upside down, see, so I keep doing that on this one, all right, so, um, I'm going to flip the video over, and, uh, looks like we've got, uh, everything in use, obviously, because this is a brand new release, and, uh, oh, that is one page, um, uh, nice layout here for the, uh, of the assembly process. Um, looking 
things to point out, but obviously pretty much straightforward stuff. Nice color page on the back here showing the vehicle in kind of military gray and, and also black. Um, they have uh, stickers obviously for different um, uses on the front. Obviously, you saw the come on, focus. You saw an ambulance version of the vehicle. And on the back, um, they have a kind of a German staff car version of the vehicle. And then we have our photo etch decals and the clear plastic. And uh, let me see if I can just get these on the back bar here and so you can see them. So we've got, uh, there's the clear plastic pieces, the decals, and then the photo etch. So I can just lined up a bit straight there, and that's good. My hand is shaking a bit. And uh, photo etch looks really good. The grill obviously is, is uh, kind of a highlight there, and, and uh, wow, that's got some amazingly small grill work there. And uh, what else is included on there? The the uh, the hood, or excuse me, the uh, the emblem on the front of the car, the, on the top of the car, or front, front top above the grill, obviously, that's included, as well as some other, it looks like latches and uh, other little bits. All right, well, that's a, a quick photo tour uh, of, the, of the kit. Um, if you have any questions or interest uh, and you want to see something specific in the eventual review we do, then please post them, post your questions on the site, and the person who does the review will have some uh, potential questions to answer. All right. Thanks for watching.